Hi guys, and welcome to Doc's office away from the office. So here on my computer, I have loaded up the beginnings of using Music First, just to give you an idea of where it is. When you go to that website, you're going to get a little sign here in the middle of the screen that's going to ask you for your username. You type in your username, which I sent you, and then you type in your password. You type in your password, which I sent you. If you forgot your username and your password, send me an email. I'll send you your username and your password. Then you hit log in. And it logs you in. Now, I'm not sure exactly what you're going to get when you log in because I get the teacher view of things and I've got a couple of classes in there. <coughs> Pardon me, my trees are trying to kill me out there. My sinuses have been running. Uh, I've got two classes I can choose from. I am not giving you assignments that are based in this because it's designed to do grading and all kinds of stuff like that. Don't worry about that. I want you to be able to play with it, to use it, to have some fun with it, and to be able to do your assignment there. Just going to send me the assignment through Canvas or through email instead. Okay. Up here in the far corner is the cool point. It says software. Click on software and up come all these really cool things that you can go and you can play with. But the cool one right here is Note Flight. And when you click on Note Flight, up pops Note Flight, and it doesn't look real exciting. What you've got to do is you've got to go up and you've got to tell it, I want to do something new. Up here, create. Okay. Then it starts out being new, and it gives you all kinds of stuff. You can have a blank score sheet. You can use treble clef, you can use bass clef, you can use piano, you can use percussion, guitar tablature, string quartets. I mean, it's got all kinds of things you can use. <coughs> Pardon me again. I'm going to go down here and just grab string quartet just for fun. It'll also let you import a MIDI file. So if you've already done something someplace else, you just want to score it out and make it, make it more useful, you can use it for a MIDI file here. So here I've got my new stuff. I can put my title in it. I can type that in. Stuff. I can put my composer name in it. Doc. And I can go down here and say, oh, look, here, I want to put in some music. Okay? Play around with it. See what you want to do. I would like to put in, oh, let's say, some quarter notes. Duration. I want the duration to be quarter note. Oh. to give it a whole note at the end. Oh, that's not a whole note. There we go. Now it's a whole note. So, I can go back, I can play it. Go back to the very beginning and play. Let's go back to the beginning. As you can tell, that's in a minor key. Uh, let's say I wanted half notes here, and I'm going to go down to the cello, and I'm going to give us a half note here. No, no, that's not a half note. Go back up and tell it I really want a half note. Let's see. La da dee da dee. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and go with the uh, the same notes there. And a whole note at the end. Want a whole note. That's not a whole note. Go back, tell it to be a whole note. Now, I can go back to the beginning and play that. Oh, and I accidentally messed that up and made that into the wrong thing. Let's go back and put a quarter note in there. Quarter note. And now we're back to being what I wanted it to be. So you can see, that'll give you some instant feedback to the way you want things to sound. Okay, you can put in repeats, you can change all the stuff you normally change, you can change the tempo, 
Uh, you can have fun with it. You can save it. You can export it. You can transcribe things into it. So pretty much you can have just all kinds of fun. Okay, well, let's get out of that. Go back to the dashboard here. And let's say I wanted to go different software. Now, one of the cool ones is Soundation. And Soundation, for a couple of you, is going to be an absolute blast and an absolute joy to play because it's like GarageBand that I use all the time. It's a recording device. So I can put in here that I would like to have an audio channel and I would like to take and I would like to put something into it. I can put MIDI loops, sound effects. I can directly record into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go back to the beginning and play that. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can take a MIDI file and drop that in and it'll play the MIDI file for you. So the things that you've done in the uh, score creation you can take and put into here and sing your Fraggle song. How's that for cool? Pretty cool? Again, you can save things from here. You can export them. You can send them to me. What do I want you to do? I want you to have some fun this week, okay? Do not stress yourselves out and make yourselves crazy. So, what is it you're supposed to have done at this point in time? Well, you're supposed to have two verses, count them, two verses, they should have the same number of syllables on each line. Verse 1 has eight syllables. Verse 2 should have eight syllables. They should have the accents in the same place. So if verse 1 goes dum 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 dum, verse 2, the words should go dum 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 dum. Make sense? Now last week you were supposed to have written the melody for me, and this week you're going to add the harmonies so that you'll have at the end of this week all of the harmonies, the melody, and you'll be able to actually record for me your Fraggle song. Does it have to be great? No. No. I'm not looking for you to be the next great singer in the universe. If it turns out that way, that's really cool and I'll be incredibly pleased. What I want you to do, have some fun with this, okay? This is supposed to be the fun project for the year. I know, it's a tough project. It's one where you got to think a lot, and you got to, oh, man, you got two verses. Now. By the time you're done with this, you'll have an understanding of just how hard it is to write a really good song. I hope it makes you enjoy the things that you like even more. So, you've got a whole week to do it, but by the time the week is over with, I hope you've got both of your verses, your melody, and the harmonies. We'll see you Sunday. Bye-bye. Oh, and always, always, send me an email if you're confused. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Sometimes on the weekend, not so much. But during the weekday, always try to get back to you as soon as I can. Catch you then.